and they're conversion devices. They're not free energy devices. They're they're uh, not uh, unrealistic devices that can't be properly demonstrated. These devices take energy from the natural magnetic field of the Earth, which has an inherent frequency. These basically tune into that and uh, take the energy that is readily available from the Earth's magnetic field and produce electricity from it. This is a voltage meter. I'll use this voltage meter to demonstrate the power output of one of my devices. This is the smallest device that I've ever made. One of the first devices, because it's put together with baling wire. It's very, very small. You can tell by the size of my hand and fingers that this device is very small. It doesn't contain any batteries capable of generating the amount of electricity that you're going to be witnessing here. Now, I'm going to take this magnet, place this magnet right here. The device is now putting out a cons consistent 62 volts. Get that in the viewfinder? Mm -hmm. 61.8. It'll fluctuate back and forth voltage wise. If you remove the magnet, from the system, the voltage automatically goes starts going down. There's a frequency pattern set up in here, and it takes a while to wind down, similar to a jet turbine. Take the magnet, put the magnet back within the device, and immediately the voltage goes back up again, 61.6, 61.8. If you take this device and hold it in your hands, it, per, it, it vibrates ever so slightly, right around 7.3 cycles per second and generates a little bit of heat during its conversion process. Now you take this device and for some unknown reason turn it upside down. Immediately it stops producing electricity down now to 13 volts, 12 volts. It stops producing electricity. Reverse it again and immediately back up to 61.6 volts. Did you get that in the viewfinder? Mm -hmm. I have no explanation for why that is. This is the smallest device that I have come up with so far. This device will produce 61.5 volts literally forever. The amount of current that it produces var varies. At the present time, at 61.5 volts, it puts out about 25 watts. Uh, the more current you draw from the device, the more heat it generates. Now I'm going to show you a larger device I have, also of similar construction. Very, very cheaply put together. There's no mass circuitry involved with any of this stuff. It's just the knowledge of the coils and how they interact with each other. Let me shut it off now and I'll move to the other device.